Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The Boeing CH-47 Chinook represents the pinnacle of engineering mastery, particularly in the specialized area of tandem VTOL configuration helicopters. VTOL, or Vertical Takeoff and Landing Aircraft, distinguish themselves by their remarkable flexibility and space efficiency. Unlike conventional aircraft that require runways, VTOLs can lift off and touch down vertically, enabling operations in varied environments, from dense urban landscapes to remote areas without the need for extensive infrastructure. This capability not only facilitates rapid deployment in emergencies, but also offers tactical advantages in military operations, making VTOL an invaluable asset in scenarios where time and space are of the essence. Initially, an American company Vertol developed this aircraft, which was subsequently refined and produced by Boeing Defense, Space and Security. The Chinook stands as a paragon of heavy lift capability. Its designation pays homage to the Chinook people a testament to the helicopter's formidable presence and capability. Originating in 1957 as the Vertol Model 107, the CH-47 Chinook's development journey was motivated by the U.S. Army's requirement for a helicopter surpassing the capabilities of the Sikorsky CH-37 Mojave. Through a series of evolutions, the Chinook has emerged as a high-speed, versatile aircraft outfitted with multiple loading options and designed for a wide range of military and civilian applications. Its enduring service life, spanning over six decades, underscores its significance in both historical and contemporary aviation contexts. The CH-47 Chinook is good at operating in mountains and tough places, making it easier to drop off or pick up soldiers in these areas, thanks to its special tilt rotor design. Both rotors spin in opposite directions to counteract the momentum produced by each blade. This action eliminates the need for a tail rotor found in traditional helicopters. This design helps the Chinook stay stable and carry much weight so it can fly safely over mountains and land in places other planes can't reach. This means soldiers can get to where they need to go quickly and safely, even if it's a hard to reach spot, giving them an edge in their missions. Let's understand how important this aircraft is through a real-life scenario. After all this action, our soldiers safely got into a Chinook helicopter and flew away from the scene. This whole operation, called Operation Marne Husky, was put together by the Task Force Marne Public Affairs Office. 
It's a perfect example of how the Chinook and teamwork can make a huge difference in tough situations. Moving from the heat of battle to the extreme cold, the CH-47 Chinook has also proven itself in the harshest environments, including the Arctic regions. This aircraft isn't just built for the average mission, it adapts to the unique challenges posed by snow and ice. Special modifications, like fitting skis onto the landing gear wheels, ensure the Chinook maintains balance and stability on snowy runways. This adaptability showcases the helicopter's versatility, making it a reliable asset, not just in temperate climates, but also in the coldest corners of the planet where conventional aircraft might falter. This aircraft serves as a crucial asset in transporting supplies to the Arctic regions. Its ability to navigate and operate in extreme cold makes it indispensable for delivering essential goods and equipment to remote locations blanketed in snow and ice. Slow, go slow, go slow. The Chinook demonstrates its versatility through a unique operation known as helo casting. Highlighting the aircraft's exceptional control over the sea. Helocasting is a specialized airborne technique employed by small, specialized units, such as Special Operations Forces and the U.S. Army's Light Infantry, for precise insertion into military areas via maritime routes. Due to its ability to maintain stability at low altitudes and low speeds, the Chinook is perfectly suited for this task. Hovering just above the water's surface at speeds no greater than 10 knots, team members exit the helicopter and make their entry into the water. Depending on the mission's needs and the aircraft's capabilities, these operations can be further classified into hard duck, soft duck, or rolled duck insertions. each describing the method by which inflatable boats are deployed and utilized for over-the-horizon operations. Whether the mission requires swimming to the objective or navigating via an inflatable boat, the CH-47 Chinook's adaptability in helo casting operations underscores its invaluable role in providing specialized units with the strategic advantage of stealthy and precise maritime insertion. Jumping from an aircraft at low heights is straightforward. But when you start talking about jumping from higher altitude, that's a whole different game. That's where paratroopers come in. Uh, 
Paratroopers are soldiers who are specially trained to jump out of airplanes with parachutes way up high in the sky. They started doing this a lot during World War II, using it as a way to surprise the enemy and quickly take over important places like airfields or bridges. High jumps like these are tricky and dangerous, but they give paratroopers a sneaky edge in battles making them really important for the army. After talking about what paratroopers do and why they are so crucial, let's dive into an example that shows them in action. Held on August 5th in West Kingston, LeapFest stands out as the largest and longest standing international static line parachute training event and competition. Organized by the 56th Troop Command of the Rhode Island Army National Guard, it serves a dual purpose, to facilitate high level technical training and to foster a sense of camaraderie within the global airborne community. This gathering, vividly captured by Staff Sergeant Austin Burner, exemplifies the expertise, teamwork, and spirit of the paratrooping world. These units engage in rigorous special patrol insertion and extraction, spy rigging drills to maintain their readiness for any mission. Before these operations can even begin, a significant amount of groundwork is laid, starting with carefully tying ropes to the aircraft. This preparation ensures a steady grip and safe extraction or insertion of reconnaissance teams into potentially hostile or inaccessible areas. Just like in LeapFest, the focus is on precision and teamwork, but with an added emphasis on stealth and speed, reflecting the critical nature of their reconnaissance missions. These drills are essential not only for the skill enhancement of the teams involved, but also for reinforcing the trust and cohesion necessary for the high stakes environment in which they operate. Now, let's delve deeper into the extraction aspect of the Special Patrol Insertion Extraction Spy Operations a critical component that showcases the precision and coordination of these missions. Imagine a helicopter skillfully hovering above the designated area. Suddenly, a rope is deployed towards the ground, with a soldier quickly sliding down it to reach the extraction point. This marks the beginning of the extraction process. Soldiers on the ground then secure a rope to the back of the person being rescued, ensuring a firm and safe attachment. With everyone properly tethered, the group is then meticulously hoisted up and away from danger, back to the safety of the helicopter. This operation, executed with seamless precision, underscores the high level of training and teamwork required to successfully perform spy extractions 
ultimately ensuring the safety and security of both the rescuers and those being rescued. From executing precision insertions in hostile territories to delivering critical support in the world's most remote regions. The U.S. military aircraft story spans from daring rescues, Arctic supply runs, and the adrenaline-fueled competitions of LeapFest showcases not just the technological marvel that is the Chinook, but also the boundless spirit of those who operate it. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.